Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. What's going on? This is Michael QLAU, and I'm here to bring you a workout straight from the gym. So right before this, I just got off a midnight shift working at one of the my side jobs that I'm going to be able to work to be able to get out of debt. So what I'm doing on this machine, this is a leg curl machine. This is a seated leg curl machine. So I'm just working uh, very slowly and controlled. And I actually made a mistake. I was supposed to be doing a leg extension. I did a leg curl, but it's all okay because you're gonna see in the next shot that I'm gonna be work doing, working on the leg extensions. So it's very, it's vitally important that you continue to maintain your muscularity throughout life because after every decade of living, you lose 8% of your body, of your body mass. And that's going to be in muscle mass and skeletal density through bone density. So as your muscle increases, your bone density is going to increase. So you can slip and fall. You won't have a problem because you'll be able to bounce back up without any breaks or damages. And that's usually what happens when you get older in age, people go to the hospital because after a slip and a fall, they break something, then they have to get surgery and have to have replace their knees and different things of that nature. So strong bones, strong muscles are what's going to improve your quality of life. As I said before, you lose 8% of your muscular mass over the age of 35. That's when it begins to decrease. And your testosterone is also going to go down as a result. But which one drops first? That's like asking, does the chicken or the egg come first? More scientific research is needed. So as you see now, I'm doing leg extensions. It's gonna work the quadriceps or the front part of your thighs going between your hips and your knee on the front part of your legs. So as you see, I'm going up very quickly as powerfully as I can and then slowly coming down. And then now I'm about to jump to the next exercise, which you will see me do. So the exercise that I was doing before, leg curls that's going to work on your hamstrings, that's going to be attached to your hips and your knees on the back part of your thigh. So after the leg extension, now I'm going to move into a vertical leg press on the Smith machine. So I'm adjusting the weight. I'm gonna do a warm-up set at 360 because this is my first time doing a Mike Mitchum workout. I wanna make sure that I get my muscles and mind all the way together so that I'm able to fire appropriately. So I'm going down as far as I can go down. As you see, like my lower back slightly comes off the mat. So I need to increase my range of motion. So I'm going to go up in the next set, but for this one, just worry about my knees uh, coming down as far as I can. And then if my hips start to come off of the mat, I go ahead and pause right there and then push back up. So with the Mike Mincer, for this, it's supposed to be one set between six to eight reps. I like to go nine reps, and then it's gonna be like 10 second breaks between each. All right, so here's going to be the working set. I'm going to make some adjustments. I'm going to go ahead and add a 25 onto it. Okay, so first I had did like this. Then I did like this. And then I had did like this. And then like this. And that got me this. And you should book with me because I can do this. Can you do this? I don't think so. So now it's time to get busy. So what you didn't see is I did, went back and I did, did the leg extensions, and then now I'm going to go back to the vertical leg press on the Smith machine. So getting my toes situated, I'm getting pretty much like between my toes and the mid part of my foot right there. So then when I roll it off the bar, it will be like right at the mid to top part of my toes. So when I'm pushing, I'm really pushing at like the middle part of my foot so then I can keep pressure on, on the, my entire foot and dip to be able to have more pressure and be able to push up. I really do enjoy doing a vertical leg press more so than doing like the uh, leg press on the machines just because you have more back support and you're able to get more depth in your squat or your leg press, I should say. So I did about eight reps right there. And then I'm gonna do a 10 second break. And then I'm gonna go right back into it. So I'm using this time to cool off, get my mind back right, and then I'm going to go right back into it. And the reason why you see me like stop and start the recording again is because I do, do upload some of these things onto my Instagram, which is MichaelQLAU. I'm on all platforms, including TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. So this is gonna be the second part 
of the set. And it's gonna be like a, it's not even a drop set, it's just a continual overload of the, of the muscle. So instead of doing five sets and you're taking like a minute and a half break, you're just gonna do all five sets back to back to back to back to back. All right, so I did six reps on to that one. I'm gonna see if I made an adjustment on the weight because of my notes that I did. Well, apparently I did not change the weights. I still kept the 410 that's on there. As you can see in the mirror, I still had the 25 right there. So I'm about to go ahead and get into the next drops. I mean, an intraset break, because when you do an intraset, you're keeping the same weight. However, you are only change, you're only resting for between 10 and 120 seconds. Or it can be more depending on what you want to do. But for me, it's going to be 10 seconds when I'm doing a Mike Mitzer workout. So this is actually rep number five, intraset number five. Uh, in the previous, in the first one, that was not a warm up. That was actually one of the first sets. I just added more weight. Actually, I dropped weight. I actually had 500 on, and then I took 45 off and I added on uh, 25. So I just wanted to clarify that part because there was a lot of weight. All right, so I'm doing six reps right here, and I have like one. Nope, I have none left in me. And as you see, I am done. I am exhausted. My legs were like really on fire I really felt all the blood into my legs and at this point I just wanted to go ahead and end my workout as you see right here you know hand down man down but uh for that rep that I did for the last set that I did I did 500 at 8 360 at 6 410 at 6 then again at 6 and then I finished off at 6 so next I'm going to move the squats I wanted to move into an actual free range squat machine I mean squat rack However, two of them were being used. I'll let you listen in on the audio because it's you also hear other people put it in work in the gym. It was this guy that I, that I knew from uh, back in this old YMCA that I used to work out at. But that one's closed now, but it's gonna reopen in like a couple of months. But it's him and his uh, girlfriend, which are working out. He's actually the uh, basketball coach for a local uh, girls basketball squad. So. It was fun before the pandemic being able to see his players come out and working out with him as well. So as you see on here, I have on 270 pounds. I do not count the bar because the bar is light. So I'm going as deeply as I can go. I'm going to go up. Then 270. I did nine reps of that. I'm going to go ahead and do my rest and then come right back into it. Between 10 and 20 seconds. 20 seconds is the most that I do. Going to get re-engaged and get my feet squared up. Now it's going to drop down. Then I'm going to power through my heels. So I'm going to keep all the weight on my heels and then forcefully come back up. Usually I do this without shoes, but usually between sets I like to uh, set up and get the next one going. So on this one I didn't take off my shoes and. You see me looking for my sheet of paper, I'm just gonna write down that I did six reps right here. Take a little bit of a breather, and then I'm gonna come right back into it. So what I like to do is I do uh, the first set, I like to go ahead and write down what I did. And then the second and third intraset, set, just go ahead and wrap it out. So it's probably about like a 15 second break. I went ahead and put my hood up, wrap my ponytail around the, the bar, and get right back in position. I'm gonna go ahead and go right back at it again. So as you see, there's not much rest in between the sets. So you're working out maximum effort. So it's high intensity training. That's what the Mike Mental Workout is all about. It's a way that you get more reps in with less amount of time. So you're able to increase the blood flow and increase the intensity and increase the power in your, in your body. So I did four reps right there. Went to the drawing board again. Went ahead and write, wrote that down and then Go ahead and mentally get ready for the next rep, for the next intraset. And from the previous uh, workout that I was doing or when I was doing the vertical leg press, I mentioned I was doing a drop set that was not true. A drop set is when you drop the weight and you do the same exercise. So you can do drop weight if you so choose to. But for me, I'm just going to be doing the same amount of weight. The only thing that I'm doing is I'm giving myself a 10 second break and then going right back into it. So I may not be able to do as many reps, but that is fine because I am pushing out as much energy as I can possibly do. So that was rep, or well, interested number four. I did four reps, 
And then I have one more coming up. As you see, I'm really feeling this. I'm looking around, questioning life, looking down at the ground, trying to figure out how I can escape this. But then I must have the courage and I get bold enough to go back into it because I realized that I just have one more. So I go ahead and put my hood up one more time, wrap the ponytail around the bar and go ahead and get right back under. Because when you get under the bar, you may feel the pain temporarily, but the pain of not getting under the bar is the worst pain that you can feel. So you get back under, go ahead and rip out muscle up one set, get some more courage and go down for another. Realize you can do two. And then because this is the last set, just go ahead and do a negative, just hold it as best as you can. And then you just get two. So you just go ahead and sit down, question life, question what you, you're, everything that you've been through. And this is the first time I've been doing this Mike Nitsa, so I'm really feeling the effects of it. So just question life, just, just relaxing, just, you know, getting my legs back, back under, under proper working conditions and, you know, good thing about it is you got this bar right here you can just pull up use the upper body and use that strength to muscle up to get to your next set and the beautiful thing about this is that this is actually the last leg exercise i'm gonna do i went ahead and took off my weight belt i like to put my weight belt underneath so that i can make sure that my core muscles are you know not flopping around they're nice and tight and i actually don't have to and engage my core muscles in order to lift up the waist because anytime that you are standing up you're going to engage your core muscles which are going to include your abdominal muscles obliques erector spinae and your glutes so all those taken together are going to make up your core muscles so anytime that you're doing a squat you want to have the brace them so that's why it's very important to do standing exercises all right next we're going to move into the calf raises i'm doing donkey calf raises so you see the setup that i have still on the smith machine so all of these exercises are going to be on the smith machine so what I did is I got a elevation platform so you can use plates, but what I'm using is, I don't even know what it's called, like the calf raise block. And then I have a bench. I put that bench around like 45 degrees and then I just set it up. So then I'm able to get my hips underneath the bar. As you see, I am not using any kind of padding. Uh, I'm used to not using the padding, but if you need to use the padding, go ahead and do that. You can also use a jacket. So for this, uh, in this exercise, it's actually two repetition, two sets and six to eight reps. In that first set, I was able to get, uh, I was able to get eight. And then this time, as you see, I'm taking off all my clothes because by this time I am very hot. So it, it was the winter time during this time, but also during like the summertime, I like to work out with legs with like a full, you know, sweatsuit you know, a pump cover or a hoodie, you know, something to keep the insulated heat on the on your top body. And then when it's leg days, make put on like a pair of pants. So even during the summertime, when it's like hundred degrees, I always wear a full pump cover. So then by the time that I get a nice pump, got a nice sweat, I can get right back into it. And then it makes a great transition into the winter time because I'm actually keeping the same routine year round. So nothing changes, just the seasons. I'm gonna stay motivated throughout. Are you tired of being tired, of not having enough energy to last you throughout the day? Are you wanted at work, too drained to go to the gym, or too sluggish to play with your kids, and too tired to hang out with your friends and your family? Don't worry, you're not the only one. In fact, one in three Americans struggle with having enough energy to last throughout the day. But there's good news because you can change all that by focusing on your gut health. Did you know that your gut has good and bad microbiomes that grow inside of it? And the more that you feed the good, the healthier and livelier that you feel. When you feed the bad ones over time, you start to feel bad, then sad, and it turns to a fad that you feel like you can't escape. And it becomes your personality, aka your personal reality. And you feel like you can't escape it, and you accept life as it is, and that it won't change. But that's where you're wrong. You just have to be able to shift your focus. See, most people fall into the trap of the sad diet, or the standard American diet, which focuses on fast food, which is cheap and high in calories, rather than nature's fast food, which are fruits, vegetables, grains, nuts and legumes that help nourish your body so then you can flourish. It's also no mistake that 90% of Americans do not eat enough fruits and vegetables according to the daily recommendations, and that's only five servings a day. What if I told you you can have the equivalent of six superfood salads all in one that's all natural, organic, whole foods? Yes, natural, organic, whole foods. And you can make and consume it in under a minute, and it only costs $4 a day. So there's no excuse that you need to shop, chop, and cook your foods because it's delivered at your front door. 
If this sounds good to you, check the description down below and schedule a 15 minute complimentary call so that you can see how this can be a fit into your lifestyle. So you can change your personal reality and increase your energy, mood, digestion, sleep, and skin, all by focusing on your gut health, which is the cause to all your symptoms. Don't believe me? Just Google gut health blank and you'll find plenty of research articles that find a connection. Back to the video. All right, I lied, you won't be able to see it, but basically the handle is caught in between the two uh, levers, so it's not going above and it's not going below. Uh, I'll actually drop in another video that I did on today to where how I showed you how to be able to use it with your hand. I'll do it right after this set, so just stay tuned. It's gonna be the workout that I actually did on today. So you actually see me wearing all white, except for the jacket but we'll see, because I may just put my all white in there. But about to go ahead and go into either set number three or four. And as you see, I have changed the weight again. So now I'm at 180. So I'm just, gonna just continuously you know, upping the weight as I'm feeling more and more comfortable. And these are donkey calf raises. So I believe that I did, that's five right there. Push out number six. Now just go ahead and drop the weight right there. And then I got one more to go. 10 second break. And then, so now I'm getting my toes underneath, about to get my hips underneath. And then when you do this, you want to be able to stretch out your calf muscle on the bottom. So you want to hold it for like two or three seconds and then pop back up for like one. Boom. So one, two, back up, pop, and just keep it going. So you really want to be able to get that stretch so you can stretch your uh, gastrocnemius muscle. That's going to be the part of the gas calf muscle that wraps around the front part of your muscle. And doing my research, my due diligence, I realized that the calf, the donkey calf raises were going to be one of the calf exercises that receive like the most uh, growth as a result of being in the bent over position with your leg straight. So you could do it on a leg press machine. However, you're going to be able to isolate the calf a little bit more by having the weight into that in that position where it's on your hip and you're going straight up. So next, now I'm going to move to standing calf raises. Now you can do a variety. You can do sitting calf raises as well. But according to my research that I've been doing, this is going to, these two calf raise ex exercises are going to be one of the top two exercises that you can do. So because I'm only doing two calf raises, I just want to put in number one and number two. And these are toe presses. So the only thing that I did is I slid out that incline uh, bench that I just slid out. And then for the toe rate, two, toe pre the toe presses on the Smith machine, we're just going to be doing one set of six to eight repetitions. Or it's, and there's going to be five intersets. So that's rep range number one. I did, uh, I did nine reps and I did it at, at 90 pounds. So I'm just going to go ahead and push out the next another one. And for the rest, it should be between eight and nine. The numbers really don't matter. It's all about how much that you're able to perform. If you ever need to be able to drop the weight, go ahead and drop the weight. If you if you don't get a good clean nine, just go to as go to cut out stop counting when you get to where you have to cheat or do your do your reps. So you want clean reps only when you're doing a bike rinser, high intensity training workout. And the reason why I'm doing this workout is because I want to be able to still keep 
part of my games or I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be able to maintain my games while working out lists. So the mic mixer is going to focus on high intensity and it's going to also focus on more recovery. So because I am working, working pretty much five days a week times two, because I have two full-time jobs, I need to be able to condense as much time as possible to, and have the same amount of effectiveness. So time of detention is going to be very key and there's going to be a lot of tension because there's going to be a lot of time a lot of, there's going to be less time but more attention so although i this workout lasted me a full like 63 work 63 minutes i was able to get in the same amount of uh, work that i was able to get in and like the uh in the 90 minute workout that i usually do so it's just one thing that you have to be able to put into your life so you can still maintain a healthy lifestyle even though you're building yourself to wealth because Wealth without health is nothing. Because if you die, if you are given like a opportunity to have, if you're if somebody told you that they'll give you a million dollars, but you have to die the next day, would you want that deal? Probably not. So although that you have the money, if you don't have your health, it doesn't it doesn't mean much. So we know that your health is going to be infinitely more important than your wealth. But when you when it comes to living, you also want to be able to have the ability to increase your quality of life and the quality of life is going to come through your health the way that you're able to get up get down as i was saying earlier in the video if you slip and fall and that breaking bones so you're able to get bounced right back up and keep going without having to go to the hospital spend money on medical bills if you spend all your time and energy building your wealth and that investing in your health is going one is going to outweigh the other so if you increase your health, you're going to be able to increase your quality of life. And then you'll be able to, so you'll be able to get up, you'll be mobile, you'll be agile and able to do anything that you want to do. But if you don't have the money resources to, to go to the different places that you want to be able to go, it won't mean much. So one of the good quotes that I heard is the ability to, to do what you want, when you want, with whomever you want, is true freedom. And that's what my ultimate goal is on this infinite fit journey and building wealth and health. And as you see, I'm clocking out around 63 minutes. That's my total time. So in all, I was able to burn 584 active calories that was during the workout, and then 695 total calories, which is accumulative metabolism. But wait, there's more. As promised, this is how you get the bar off the safety hook and the safety bars. So all I did is I took one hand off, put my hand on the bar, and then I just rolled it off the hook and I went ahead and got into my set. To learn more information about Purim and the family of products, check out the description down below to set up a 15 minute complimentary call. And you can also check out the website. You're just one click away for a better life. Your health is too important to continue to push it off. Go ahead and check out the website and see if a product fits you. So with the Mike Mentor workout, the high intensity training, you're able to work out every other other day. So once in every three days, I should say. So I made a mistake and I didn't work out on the third day. I actually waited until the sixth day because something came up on the third day. So I actually did legs as you see on this video and I followed it up with chest. And then the following week I have been on it. So try test and tweak until you get a beat. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and like, share, and subscribe, and smash that notification bell so you can get the next episode for the Teachers After Dark podcast. As always, thank you for tapping in and never tapping out for another episode of the Teachers After Dark podcast. And as always, you all stay infinitely fit and for infinitely blessed.